In this lesson, we are going to learn Python type conversion through an example. We are going to write a program that will ask the temperature in Celsius and will convert it to Fahrenheit. So let's start with input function. It asks for the temperature in Celsius. Use a little space here so that we can get a little space on the terminal window when we'll have run this code. Now store the return of this function in a variable named Celsius. Next we need to calculate the temperature in Fahrenheit. So define another variable called Fahrenheit. And here we do some basic math. This is the formula to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. We'll multiply Celsius with 9 over 5 and then we'll add 32 with it. So this formula will convert the Celsius into Fahrenheit. Let's print the Fahrenheit on the terminal window using print function. Run this program. Input the temperature in Celsius, let's say 30 degrees Celsius. We can see we've got an error. So what is going on here? Whenever you see this message, that means there is something wrong with your program. With the information provided here, we can find exactly where the error occurred. So next to this file, you can see the file that generated this error. And the error is on line 2. Right below, we can see a piece of code which actually generated this error. And right below the code, we can see the type of error. In this case, we've got a type error. And here's the message that says, count multiply sequence by non-int of type float. So let's investigate this issue and try to figure out what went wrong and how to solve this problem. The Python console becomes very helpful in investigating issues with the code. Let's copy it. Go to the Python console and paste it here. Hit enter and it will ask for an input. I'm going to use 30, the same number we used before. So if we print Celsius now, we will get 30. As we have got type error earlier, we need to find out the type of this Celsius. There is a built-in function in Python to do that. It is the type function. And the input argument is going to be the Celsius. Hit enter. We can see it is a string type. It means it is a text, not a number. So the input function returns a string. It doesn't matter what the user is typing, it will always return a string. Let's see the type of 9 over 5. It is a float. That means a decimal point number. So we were trying to multiply string with a float, which is not possible. And that is why we are getting the error. The solution to this problem is type conversion, which is actually the topic of this lesson. There are many built-in functions in Python to convert one data type into another data type. For example, we can use int function to convert something into integer. We can use float function to convert something into float. In this case, 
we are going to use the int function to convert this Celsius into integer and we are going to store it in a variable say x. Hit enter. Now check the type of x and this time we can see it is an integer. So we are going to use this concept to fix the error we have got earlier. Right after this line, use the int function and the input argument to this function is going to be this Celsius. And what will be returned, we are going to store that in the same variable. So this time, this Celsius is no longer a string, it is an integer. Let's run this program. I'm going to use the same number, 30, and this time the program ran without any error. So this is 86 degree Fahrenheit. This is how we perform type conversion in Python. In this lesson, we not only learned how to do type conversion in Python, but also learned how to investigate if an error shows up. How to find out which file is causing the problem, exactly on which line the problem is, and we have also learned how to find out the type of the error. So that's all for this lesson. Let's see what we have in the next lesson.